안녕하세요. 메인입니다. 한국어 수업에 오신 것을 환영합니다. 안녕. 하이 <목소리> guys. It's Min and welcome back to today's video. Today I'm going to talk about this word 당신 and I can easily guess that you may have seen this word especially when you try to learn Korean by yourself so you went to a bookstore get a Korean lecture book or you started to use any sort of online material that helps you to learn language by yourself so literally this word is everywhere and there is a high chance that you know this word as a meaning of you which is not wrong however when you hear people actually talking in korean you barely find this word in their conversation or same in the text so in this lesson i'm going to talk about why you have to avoid using this word and how you can do that in Korean, it is really important to use a proper title or name to address someone else. So you can also use the word 너 when you are informally speaking, so-called in 반말. There's no problem to say 너 if you know this person well enough and they are younger than yourself. However, if you want to be more polite and formal according, according to these books, you are supposed to call them 당신. And I also put this word in the grammar section of my own textbook. So we do use this word 당신. But I also commented next to it that avoid using it if it's possible. Because if you use this word 당신, it sounds like you haven't addressed them properly like you don't even want to call them with an appropriate term or like you talk to an anonymous person that you don't even know to whom you are talking to so the right way of calling or addressing a specific person is to use their professional title or their name or we also have a lot of words of relationships so we're gonna see it in this video alternative we have some alternative words for this word 당신 if you know who you are talking to so if it's your teacher you're gonna call them 선생님 if you got to know them in a professional situation you can always address them with their professional title the post like 과장님, the manager, 대리님, assistant manager, 사장님, the president or the boss, or 손님 and 고객님 for customer or a client. So when I say, uh, 그 파일 과장님 이메일로 보냈어요, it doesn't only mean that I sent that file to the manager's account email address but it could also mean manager i send it to your address so you can address person address somebody with their title it can be used as a second person subject or when you talk out of the professional context you can first ask their name and call them by their name in this case, if they are in equal position as yours, you can put the word she with their name. So when you call me, you're gonna say me, you're gonna call Min Shi. Or if they hold a higher position than yours, you can call them with Nim. Like when you call a customer or someone that you don't really know and they are like much older than you. So once when his name is Chesok, you're gonna call him Chesok Nim. And when you're in a very casual and friendly situation, 
You can also use the words for your family members to the others as well. For example, words like 언니, 오빠, 누나, 형. These are also used to call your close friends who's slightly older than you. So if you're a girl, you're gonna say 언니 for older girls and 오빠 for older boys. And if you're a boy, you're gonna say 누나 for older girls and 형 for all the boys. So you can still use these terms even if they're not your blood related siblings. Uh, so do 할머니 and 할아버지. These words mean grandma and grandpa, but you can also use them for old ladies and old men. Also, 이모 and 삼촌 is the same. They originally mean your mother's siblings, so aunt and uncle. But if someone's quite older to be called 언니, 오빠, or 누나, 형, but still close to you like friend-wise, you can call them 이모 or 삼촌, which sounds more friendly and more closer than 아줌마 or 아저씨. Last but not least, when you're still not sure how to dress them, you can simply drop the subject and start a sentence in the middle. Like when you ask to a stranger, like, do you have a pen? You don't have to say, 당신은 펜이 있어요. But you can simply say, a pen 있으세요. And it sounds much, much more casual. Or you can also use the word 저기 or 저기요 to get their attention, which literally means there. But in this context, it is used like, a oh, hey, hey there or something like that. So, 저기, 혹시 펜 있으세요? Hey there, do you have a pen by any chance? So that you don't really have to address them with a specific word. Uh, one more thing to add, if it's not a stranger, but you are going to keep talking with this person, or you get to see them again and again, you can just ask them how do they want you to call them? So you can simply say, 제가 어떻게 부를까요? Or, 제가 어떻게 부르면 좋을까요? It literally means, what do you want me to call you? How do you want me to call you? Then, they will let you know their name or their professional post or how old they are. And you can pick one word depending on your situation and depending on their answer. Okay, so let me wind up here. I hope this video was helpful for you guys to get less confused and speak more confidently without worrying if you're doing something wrong. So don't hesitate to leave a comment down below if you have any question. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with another video next week. So, thanks for watching and have a nice day. 자, 오늘 비디오도 시청해 주셔서 감사합니다. 다음 주에 만나요. 안녕.